Great day everyone! Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. Today class our viewers, we are going to discuss different texts. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. Hello viewers! Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. So now we are going to discuss a new topic about subtracting decimals. And what is that, teacher Ram? Subtracting decimal class is you are going to list or subtract the menu when and subtrahend so that you can what you call get the final answer or the final difference. And then right after getting the what we call the actual difference, then we are going to find it out also the estimated difference. Okay, by how? In estimated the difference class, remember. You are going to consider the following, the, the place value. Po. According to place value, if it is rounding off, rounding off class, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is rounding up. You are going to plus to uh, the next to designated as a most. You are going to plus it if it, is, if it is necessary. So rounding down, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's still what we call rounding down numbers. Okay, let's proceed to our drills about subtracting decimals. Number one class, we have 6.305 minus 2.678. So now class, we are going to first to get the actual difference. We are going to subtract first. We are going to get first the AT, the actual difference. By how? We are going to subtract 5 and 8. Remember class, 5 are what we call menu win is less than to our subtrahend. 8 is greater than 5. 5 is less than to 8. It's the time class that we are going to borrow. Tiram, this is 0, so we can't borrow. Yeah, Var 0 will borrow for 3. 3 becomes 2. And 0 becomes 10. So we're going to borrow again, so it becomes 9. So 5 becomes 15, and 0 becomes 9. Okay, that's it, class. Now we are going to subtract 15 to 8. So 15 minus 8. The answer class is 7. That's right. 9 minus 7. So we are going to count, start starting to count to 7 until you reach 9. So we are going to count, we are going to write 2. 2 minus 6 cannot be class. Remember, 2 will borrow from 6. 6 becomes 5 and 2 becomes 12, right? 12 minus 6 class, we're going to write it down 6 because 6 plus 6 is 12. Now, 5 minus 2, we have 3. Therefore, my dear students, are actual difference. So, with the decimal, don't forget to put it. Actual difference now is 3.627. Let's proceed to our estimated difference. Okay, our estimated difference 6.305 since 3 is rounding down. So we're going to write here 6.000, triple zero. 2.678, 6 is rounding up. So we're going to add 1 to 2. 2 becomes 3.00. Next, subtract plus. Don't forget to put the what we call subtracting signs. We are going to subtract. 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay, therefore, this will be our estimated difference. Next, number 2. We have 9.547 minus 2.689. I will give you class the estimated difference first for this. 9.547. 5 is rounding up. So that means, so see, 9 becomes 10. So 2.689. Since 6 is rounding up, so 2 becomes 3. I will give you a phrase like this. This will be our estimated difference. So we're going to, we can do like this also class. We can answer estimated difference first, but well, actual. So 10 minus 3 class. So remember, 
0 becomes 10, so 1 becomes 0, so 10 minus 3, we have 7. So this will be our estimated difference. You can still like this also class, even though whether you can study it, whether you are getting first the actual difference or not. Next is we're going to find the actual difference. 7 minus 9, since 7 is less than 9, 9 is greater than 7, we should borrow from 4. 4 becomes 3. 7 becomes 17. So now we are going to subtract 17 minus 17 minus 9. So we're going to write here 8. 3 minus 8 cannot be. So 3 varied from 5. 5 becomes 4. 3 becomes 13. So 13 minus 8, we have 5. 4 minus 6 cannot be class, 9 becomes 8, 4 becomes 14, 14 minus 6 class, so we are going to write it out, so we are going to write 8, so 8 minus 2, don't forget to write the decimal point class, so we are going to write here, this will be our actual difference, right. very what you call near absolutely correct next let's proceed to number three estimate for is 3.714 so seven remember class is rounding up three becomes four triple zero subtract 2.0870 is rounding up so it's still two this will be our estimated difference Next, we have 7 minus 4 cannot be, so 4 becomes 14, 1 becomes 0. So our answer is 7. 0 cannot be, 7 becomes 6, 0 becomes 10, so we are going to answer 2. Bring down 6, don't forget to put the decimal point, 3 minus 2 is 1. Therefore, our answer is 1.67, our actual Difference. Next class we have 83.55 and 24.37. So we are going to what we call estimate first. So 5 is rounding up. Means to say we have 84. 24. So 3 rounding down. Still 24. Semi two zeros. So 0. So 6. This will be our estimated difference. This is how you are going to answer class. Next, we are going to find the actual difference. Actual difference. 5 minus 7 cannot be. So 5 becomes 15. 5 becomes 4. 15 minus 7. So we have first year 8. 4 minus 3 can be that's one don't forget the decimal point three minus four cannot be so borrowed three becomes 13 eight becomes seven 13 minus four so that's nine seven minus two we have five so therefore that's absolutely correct our actual and estimated difference next class our last drill in subtracting decimal we have 8.50 and 3.87 so 5 is rounding up 8 becomes 9 automatic class for our estimated estimated difference 3.87 8 is rounding up becomes 4 subtract rounding two zeros 9 minus 4, so we have 5. This will be our answer. Let's proceed to our actual, actual difference. 0 becomes 10, so this is 3. So 5 becomes 4, so 8 becomes 7, so it's bar class 14 minus 8, so that is 6. 7 minus 3 
we have 4 so therefore this will be our actual difference that's absolutely an amazing class perfectly work that is how you or we are going to discuss subtracting decimals all you have to think class you know how to rounding off decimals you need to follow the rules and some and consequences rounding off five starting to number five four six seven eight nine rounding down four three two one and zero remember class if you knew that you know how to subtract mean you win and subtracting if it is less than and greater than all i have to say it is your work is perfectly once again my dear students viewers thank you for watching rom's tutorial vlog and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here in my channel god bless us all bye bye thank you for watching